trim, numbers on the back. University of Arkansas, Fort Smith in the Navy, tops and bottoms in the silver numbers. Lions on the back, UAFS on the front. Patriots win the opening tip off. Xavier Ledette swings it around to the freshman of the year in the conference, Julian Miranda. Miranda for three. What better way to start? Julian Miranda, first look, first three. Dallas Baptist University is off and running. Seth Youngblood has his pass batted away. It was intended for Marcus Wallace. There you see Blake Flickner in the center of your screen. We told you he's the coach of the year. He was an assistant coach at the U United States Naval Academy from 2003 to 2005, a native of Garland, Texas. The answer for the Lions, no good. Rebound controlled by Miles Johnson. Patriots like to talk about their principles and their process, and they stick to it here. And when they do, good things happen. An errant pass that time from Patrick Burke is taken away by the Lions. Patrick Burke is a name that you can expect uh, you to call a lot, Corey. We, we, we talked about him a lot. He is great from the perimeter. He's great from the inside. Patrick Burke is one of these guys who is an offensive spark plug, like, much like Lexi Fathery in the previous game. This is what he does best. He puts offensive sports and on the defensive side of the basketball. My goodness, he has such a presence underneath. How about another three-pointer for Julian Miranda? Seth Youngblood had just knocked down a two, but Miranda answers with his second straight triple. Hand check foul now on the freshman point guard as he tries to cover Marcus Wallace. One more thought, Drew, on Patrick Burke. You were here for this tournament a year ago. I was not. Patrick Burke hasn't only been spectacular this year. He was great in this event last year as well. Yeah, second consecutive year all tournament. He was fantastic for this Dallas Baptist team and was a big factor in getting this Dallas Baptist University team to the finals and ultimately the championship. He was the tournament MVP last year. We'll see who gets that accolade later today. A head fake, no good, rebound. Controlled by JT Harris for the Patriots. Patriots walk the ball back up the floor. The third member of our broadcast team is Jose Harbor. Jose has reports from both sidelines. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah, I was able to talk to coach both coaches before the game. Coach Flickner told me, we got to try to stop UA Fort Smith on the transition. They get a lot of their points on fast break. Try to keep them off the boards. Coach Newman of UA Fort Smith said, look, we just got to keep them off the free throw line. They're going to try to get a lot of penetration, a lot of fouls. So if we can try to contain that, we have a good chance. Thank you, Jose. Both good things to watch for in this one, the transition game and the free throw line. Quick hands that time by Marcus Wallace, the six foot one guard out of Little Rock. Disrupting the passing lane that time, and Julian Miranda will come over to try and take the inbounds for Dallas Baptist University. All the way out to six foot six, JT Harris. Pass inside, blocked by Jolly. Burke couldn't get a clean look. Here's Kyrie Elder. Youngblood for three. Yeah. Youngblood stepping up. It's a 6-5 game. All day long for Seth Youngblood. Miranda tries to drive again here. He's got all six points for DBU. He is fouled as he drives the lane. Here's that three again, Drew. From long range, dude, nothing but net. You see him right there shaking his head. He knew it was money from the moment he let it go. Josh Newman there patrolling the sideline for the Lions. Two conference titles since he took over. Gentleman from Chino Valley, Arizona. This is Miles Johnson, the handoff to Miranda. Johnson, a three-point threat. Watch him float around out in the corner. 17 on the shot clock. Left-handed runner goes. Julian Miranda is on fire. All eight of DBU's eight points. Jolly sets a screen. Deep three, won't go. Rebound, fought for. Patriots have it. See if they want to push the issue here. Odd man break, Miranda feeling it. The freshman's off the mark. Youngblood, the first team all-conference standout with the rebound. 
and now he takes it all the way back. Youngblood makes it a one-point game, 8-7. Harris from way out. The big man with a miss. Lions control the tap. Youngblood has it taken away. Miles Johnson. Four minutes into this one, and it's a one-point game. Baseline move. Pass flipped back out. We've got a foul going the other way here. Xavier Ledette commits the offensive foul. Has it missed. He's pitching a perfect game out of the shoot here for the Lions. He has the ball now, gives it up to Coleman. This is Devontae Thomas now and back around to Cooper. Youngblood partially blocked, ball loose. Who's got it? It's Julian Miranda. Miranda hung up in the air, able to find somebody to get the ball to. Miss for Burke. Second look won't go. Third time is a charm. Patrick Burke. Two offensive rebounds and two points. Patrick Burke is the guy that we told you from the very beginning. He is dangerous moving up and down the floor. He is dangerous from inside the paint. Patrick Burke is a superstar. All tournament MVP this year. Oh, conference honorable mention for Alex Cooper, and he shows you a little bit of his perimeter game, knocking down his first three to not us up at 10. Down low now, Burke swatted. Clean block by Jolly. Holy cow, Brett Jolly, the former Billiken, a transfer from St. Louis, will represent the Heartland Conference in the NCAA D2 Women's National Tournament. Dallas Baptist with the ball here, taking their time, seven on the shot clock. Ledette with it, and a foul with six seconds. And the foul is going to go against Alex Cooper. Cooper from Dallas, Texas, picks up his first personal. The Lions third. Team fouls right now. Three for University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Two for DBU. Miranda with it out on the wing. He'll bring it back across the grain. Looking down low to Burke. Can't get open. Ledette now drives and kicks. Miranda shakes and bakes, lets another three go, no good. Rebound controlled for the Lions. Our sideline reporter, Jose Harbour, has more on the Lions. Devontae Thomas. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Devontae Thomas' nickname is Spider-Man. I was actually able to talk to his dad and his brother in the stands of why his nickname is Spider-Man. Turns out when he started playing varsity basketball in high school, they just started calling him Spider-Man because his arms are so long. His wingspan is so big. He's, he has about a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. He's only 6'5". Guys? Always like a good nickname, partner. I'd say Spider or Spider-Man is a pretty good one. Thomas now stands at the free throw line. His first trip to the charity stripe today. The Tulsa, Oklahoma native from right here at Hale, Oklahoma, or Hale High School here in Oklahoma, gets his first shot to go. Dalton Clapian checks in for his first minutes of the ball game. Thomas, a part of the all-tournament team one year ago, makes both free throws, and he gives Ufus the 12-10 lead. DBU now looking up at the Lions. Handoff here comes to Carter Brown. Brown spins, pulls up at the free throw line, leaves it short. Thomas taps it around. Ball controlled by Kyrie Elder. He's had a couple of highlights here in this tournament. Thomas now with it, head fake. Dribbles with the right hand, drives. Runner won't go. Rebound controlled by Xavier Ledette. The X-Man had 15 points in the semifinal win for, or 15 rebounds in the semifinal win for DBU and they needed every single one of them as he goes up to three. They needed every single one of those boards to try to translate the rebounds. And Xavier Ledette, you called him the X-Man, I've called him the Mutant, he's a superstar for this team. Another three ball, this is Cooper. Same spot, same result. Alex Cooper 
had 14 points in the quarterfinal, six point in the semi against St. Mary's, and he's heating up here today. He's the team's leader in assists with 105 coming into the championship. Carter Brown gives it up to the X-Man. That one off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound, knocked out of bounds. They say the Lions have it. Last touch by DBU, maximum effort there by Alex Cooper. He knocks down the three, then he forces the turnover, Drew. And he plummets into this bench. Take a look at this. He's taking out coaches, he's taking out everybody. But you know what? You have to sacrifice in these championship games. You have to put your body on the line, and Cooper did just that. Went to a perfectly good basketball game, and Demolition Derby broke out. Alex Cooper will walk it up here, no worse for wear after the collision. 15 to 12, our score, a three-point lead for the Lions, and there's an offensive foul. Kyrie Elder dropped his head, dropped the shoulder to initiate the contact. We're going the other way. Take a look at it again. There's that forearm, and he dropped the shoulder. We've talked about this in every single game. These teams need to watch our broadcast because the officials are telling us exactly what to look for, and he was a picture-perfect example of what not to do right there. Yeah, he was a two-for-two two offender that time. This is boy Von Vliet. Von Vliet turns it over, the native of the Netherlands. This is Cooper again trying to fight through the defense. The foul will be called on the floor against Van Vliet, who just checked into the action. His first personal, the team's fourth. Coming in now for DBU number four, Amari Bryant. Bryant blew up in the quarterfinal against the Newman Jets for 15 and six. Here's the three from the corner, high bounce off the rim. Xavier Ledet is there for yet another rebound. This guy, boy, he takes a lot of pride in cleaning the glass. He has come up with a lot of big rebounds in Tulsa. Handoff pass here into the gut of Carter Brown. Ledette now gives way to Bryant. He changes direction. Outside the three ball for the Patriots. Won't draw iron out of the hands of JT Harris. JT Harris with just a little too much on it. Ball batted off the rim that time. Back to Bryant. Under 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Bryant drives, uses the window. No rebound controlled by Devontae Thomas. Spider up floor in a hurry. Elder. All the way back to Alex Cooper. He's knocked down a couple threes. Skip pass. Elder loses the handle on it. It's taken away by the six foot six Jordan Pratt. Harris thought about another one, but he thought better of this time. Kyrie Elder snuck up on him. Nice circus move by Carter Brown. Baseline drive up and under for his first two points. And I think the Lions need a minute to catch their breath here, Drew. The pace of this, the tempo of this game has been so fast and so far. Both teams trying to establish games in transition and also inside the paint. And a lot of times that makes you move a little bit faster. And so they could very well be getting winded to slow down the pace and find the open shot. Glapian sends it around the horn. Elder will try one from three. His shot too strong. Rebound to Jordan Pratt. Boy, he is wanting to put the three up, and that is a couple of straight misses. Blake Flicker stomping his way down the DBU sideline, not liking the shot selection by his team. I don't know that Josh Newman's going to be much happier, partner. A lot of frustration, a lot of misses in that second four minutes of us with two. Julie Miranda still the scoring leader for the Dallas Baptist University Patriots. Absolutely, and partner, we're looking at the uh, shot selections right now. Five for 14, six for 19 for UFAS and Dallas Baptist University, respectively. And what that tells you is that they've shot 14 times and 19 times and have only been able to make a select few of them. And so what that tells you is that they're not pacing well. They're not choosing their, their shots very well. They're trying to find that open three, and they're just missing. Well, it's a very familiar story. We saw it earlier today with the Lady Shaps and the Hilltoppers. 
wasn't a great shooting day here. And you know, part of that could be playing three games in four days here. Some of these teams playing three games in three days if they didn't have the luxury of playing on Thursday night. Here's a three for Cooper, no. Rebound pulled down by Jordan Pratt. Pratt now with three rebounds in the contest. He is yet to score. Carter Brown feeds Miranda the kick out to Miles Johnson. Johnson hanging in the air, no good. A rebound controlled by Brett Jolly. Youngblood started off like a man on fire scoring and he's cooled off since then. See if he can add to his team's one point lead here. Man to man defense by the Patriots. Ball batted around. And a timeout called by the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. It'll be a 30 crowd. The Dust Devils win out on the first day. The other two teams are playing for the postseason championship today. Youngblood dribbles all the way back to center court. The free throw line. Wallace shot clock goes off. Who's going to come up with the rebound? It's Marcus Wallace. Big second chance here with the offensive rebound for the Lions. Well, Darius Coleman swings it back around to Big Brett Jolly. This is Devontae Thomas. Rolls, goes down the lane. Offensive foul. Not even Spider-Man could get out of his own way that time. Probably a player control foul that time as it goes underneath a little bit reckless. Jordan Pratt jumped in his way, took the charge. That got the DBU bench fired up. They're down one and have the ball. Under eight minutes to play. Johnson. Miles Johnson spinning, shooting, leaving that one short. Burke, the offensive rebound, controls it, tapped back out into the hands of Marcus Wallace. Wallace was scoreless in their game against St. Edwards. Here, there's another ball batted in the air, and it finds its way to Patrick Burke. Miranda now going to pump the brakes here, slow down. Patriots need to get into an offensive set. They flatten out for Miranda. Carter Brown will come out to meet him. 2-3 zone here. There's a push, no call. Shot won't go. Rebound by Ladarius Coleman. But once again, you're seeing some physicality. You're seeing a better shot selection. Now, the shots just won't fall. Brett Jolly's known to take a three every now and again. He's got five of them on the season, but he has to kill his dribble. 6.40 to go. Seth Youngblood tells him to set a screen, and now he'll try to go on his own and get the blocking foul against Miranda. Julie Miranda, the freshman of the year, is going to plead his case, but there's not going to be any change in this call. Seth Youngblood took the young man to school that time. The Roland, Oklahoma native, Seth Youngblood, well over 1,000 points in his career at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. The Lady Lions able to play all the way to Saturday this year in the Heartland Conference Tournament before they fell. Jump shot from the free throw line won't go through for Ladarius Coleman. Still a one point game, Dallas Babis looking to take the lead, a three would do that. That one pops high off the rim and falls to Youngblood. Youngblood pushes it. Devontae Thomas looking for the trifecta, but it won't go. And you're still seeing these two teams popping and locking very early on, not setting up the offense. We have already run past the eight minute media timeout. Getting close to the fours, there's a nice give and go. Johnson on the lead into Jordan Pratt. The young man from San Antonio, Texas is on the scorebook now. Youngblood dribbles deep into the shot clock again, around to Jolly. He's got five three-pointers. He's got six three-pointers on wow. the season. Just made it look easy. That was a long range three, too. Jolly made it look easy from downtown. Only shoots about 41%, but that's because the sample size is six of 13. 
Head fake now, Johnson hangs in the air and finds Von Vliet. Ball batted out of the hands of Pratt. He skips it all the way over to Johnson, who if he was six foot four instead of six foot five, he couldn't have got there. There's an over the back call. Jolly knocks down a three and now he gets the foul. This will be the under eight media timeout with 4.58 to go. We should be getting a media timeout here, but apparently we're not going to. Because we haven't gone under four yet, any dead ball under eight should have got us that media timeout, but we're not gonna get it here, and DBU puts the ball back in play. There's a runner that won't find its way to the cylinder for Jordan Pratt. Devontae Thomas, Thomas picks up the second foul, the team's seventh. Proud will go to the line here, trying to tie this one up. DBU down 18-16. Oh, leaves that one high and short. Coach Flickner sending subs into the game, waiting for the free throw. He gotta make it to get the sub in though, and Pratt misses them both. Big time sky walking. Got knocked to the ground is Devontae Thomas. Sky walking, yes, the force awakened with him too. Take a look at him right here. Trying to make a statement, but Patrick Burke says, no thank you, you will not do that in my house today. Hard foul by Burke, his first, the sixth for the Patriots. Thomas at the line now here, a 78% free throw shooter. That is Devontae Thomas's 102nd made free throw of the season. He came into today sitting on 99 made free throws. He's three for three at the line today. He remains perfect and Coach Fleckner will send JT Harris back into the game. The six foot six sophomore from Merkel, Texas. Inbounds coming on the Dallas Baptist side of the floor. Under five minutes to play here in a highly contested first half. Not a high scoring one, partner. Patriots back to work here. This is Carter Brown. He crosses his man over, hands it off. Johnson, a three, too much. Rebound in the hands of Youngblood. Seth Youngblood looks like he wants to run, puts his head down, throws it out for three. It's Cooper, it's wow. another three! Alex Cooper's third three of the day. 23-16, Ufus. He found his man in the corner that time, Cooper, just sitting on the wing. Seth Youngblood set him up perfectly. Beautiful pass, best assist we've seen all day, and here's the turnover. Cooper now hands it off to Youngblood. They give it back and forth. Elder now stops and pops, gets run into by Johnson, no foul. Youngblood for three. And Elder's over the back. Thank you, partner. We're at the free throw line again. Miles Johnson making his first trip to the charity stripe. An 0 for day for Miles Johnson, who blew up from three point land in an earlier contest. Johnson. The best three-point shooter on the team against Lubbock Christian dropped 16. He was four of nine from three-point land. Johnson here able to get the first free throw to go and the Cosida Academic All-District Superstar makes them both a young man who has been an academic All-District performer for three straight years. Comes off to the sideline, his first rest of the game, the 3.94 GPA. Man, I wish I'd had grades that good when I was in college. I was in college for seven years and I'm not a doctor. You have me beat, partner. Youngblood, back outside, two-man game now. Coleman spins, picks up his dribble. Look at the turnaround, Jay, for Ladarius Coleman. The man from Memphis gets his first two. It's 25-18 Lions. Carter Brown leaves it. Boy, Dallas Baptist has really been trying from three, but they're not getting many results, Drew. They're two of 11 from three-point land. Once again, it goes back to shot selection. They have really not found their pacing. They're just trying to 
get back into this when they find themselves seven points down. And it looks like they're starting to panic, but there's no need to panic right now. There's three minutes left in this first half. Take your time and move the ball. Just practice the fundamentals. This is the Lions' largest lead. It grows to nine as Ladarius Coleman is owning the low post. You have to score here. You have to stop this run. You have to create some momentum for your team. Clock now at two and a half minutes here. 15 on the shot clock as Carter tries to trigger the DBU offensive attack. No look pass, down to Ledette. He is tied up, back to Miranda with four, with three. He launches, that one short on the front iron. And this is Alex Cooper. Cooper wheels around a couple of defenders and gives it to Youngblood. Youngblood on the far side of the floor. Brings it back to center. Seth Hawley into the ball game for the first time today. He is covered by Carter Brown. Under two minutes now in the half. They look down low. It's worked three straight trips. They have no answer for Ladarius Coleman. Inside, now, now that's what I'm talking about. When you're finding your rhythm in the paint, when you are absolutely able to find that baseline shot underneath, finding your rhythm under the basket, that will create leads like this one, they're up by 11. Patrick Burke is waiting at the scores table. He is gonna to be told to come in and stop Ladarius Coleman as we've got a blocking foul here. Alex Cooper got caught up in that one. On the charity stripe, the six foot two junior from Pembroke Pines, Florida. A great number at the free throw line, 51 of 59 during the season. Now both teams will get to make mass substitutions as Jolly and Wallace come back in to, for the Lions. Pratt and Burke back in for DBU. Bryant makes them both. The lead is now nine. 29-20. Lions looking to push it back to their number of 11. That's the biggest lead they've had here in the first half. Youngblood through the legs. Now Jolly has it back between the rings and Seth Youngblood will come back out to take over. Five on the shot clock, 60 seconds to play. Senior versus freshman, there's a collision and it's an offensive foul. Youngblood will pick up his first, the team's 10th. The offensive foul here, watch it again. The freshman doing a good job to stand his ground, pick up the foul. Julian Miranda, not only the freshman of the year, he is number six in assists in the season all time in DBU history. He dropped eight dimes against Newman. 15 to shoot, a left-handed floater falls for Amari Bryant. Carter Brown, pardon me. Brown now with four points. With five seconds between the shot clock and the game clock, partner, I would expect Fort Smith to try to be more careful with their shot selection. They take the second to half time. They know they're going to have the lead. The question is how big of a lead can they have over DBU? Marcus Wallace. Yo-yos from left to right, pulls up. It's a two if it goes. It goes halfway down the cylinder and pops out. Bryant now running with three, with two. He's gonna have to shoot. It's a three if it goes, no. Jordan Pratt off the feed. The second 20 minutes with the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Lions lead. Dallas Baptist University by those seven points. Drew, looking at the stat sheet, there were a lot of numbers in common with these teams, but what jumped off the page for you? Obviously, it's three-point shooting, five for 14 for UAFS, two for 14 for Dallas Baptist. Look at the free throws. Four for four for UAFS, four for six. The difference in this game right now, straight up, is the three-point shot. And funny that I would have thought that Dallas Baptist University would have worked on a way to slow down Ladarius Coleman Lions went right to him, on the block again, spins, shoots, and scores the same way he scored six straight points at the end of the first half. Burke for two, that one no good. Rebound controlled by Wallace. 
We bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Jose Harbour, who was working at halftime. Jose? Thanks, guys. I was able to talk to Coach Flickner over on DB, DB, DBU's bench. He said, you know, this game feels a lot closer than it really is at halftime. we got 20 more minutes to try to get that championship. We need to slow the fast break down, and we got to keep up the pace on our end. Can't be stagnant on offense. Guys? Thank you, Jose. Coleman at the line here. He has really been an impact player here late in the first half and early here in the second. He's got nine points now. That's his first free throw of the day. Nine points, two boards on a 4-7 shooting day. Coleman knocks them both down, and now the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Lions have matched their largest lead of the day at 11. 33-22. Johnson works it out on the wing. Miranda hands it off, and it comes back to JT Harris for three. Harris and Pratt with those beards. I get him confused. I'm surprised I haven't confused him for you. Oh, they got a little more height on me, but not much. Just a little. Here it is again, Coleman. He had been bunny down low. They kick it out to Jolly. He fakes the three instead. Youngblood takes the long range shot. No good out of bounds. We're going the other way, and the officials going to get together. I don't think this call is going to stand. I think they're going to reverse it. The funny thing about a call like this, Drew, is you just take the coaches and reverse their anger. It's exactly what you do. You don't. You take one fan base and you make one of them happy, and then you take that away from them. They just play with your emotions. Coleman pinballs around and goes through. Ladarius Coleman, put your hands up, young man. He's got a dozen. Johnson looks for the answer. No, but there's a putback by JT Harris. Harris had eight points against Lubbock Christian, seven points and six rebounds against the Jets from Newman. Now he'll come out, Pratt will come in. Jolly in the corner, sends it around the horn. They find Marcus Wallace. He drives on Johnson, has it partially blocked. They fight for it. Lions come away with it. Mr. Youngblood, right place, right time. Big time result. That's again with Grimes. Dallas Baptist has scored two points. UAFS nine in this opening part of the second half. A 14 point lead now, the largest of the lead, but Dallas Baptist gonna try at the free throw line here. Julian Miranda at the line here. An 89% free throw shooter. His first of the day. Three and four. Back into the game here. Carter Brown, Amari Bryant. A little change in the backcourt here. Miranda at the line this year. 41 of 46. He had 243 points coming into today. He now has 252 over the 250 point plateau for his freshman season. Jolly looking down low. Instead will try to drive. Picks it up inside the free throw line. Cooper now drives. Teardrop runner won't go. Burke taps it out. The Patriots have it. Coach Flicker. Imploring his troops to go here. Now they'll spread it out. 2-3 zone for the Lions defensively. Burke wants it. The first team all-conference star instead sends it back out. And there'll be a foul on the floor here. They're going to get Ladarius Coleman with his first. The team's second. You see Blake Fleckner. Played his college ball at Eastfield College. He was a student manager, Drew, at Kansas from 93 to 95, which means he was in Lawrence, Kansas, at the exact same time as NBA superstar Paul Pierce, one of my all-time favorites. So what you're saying is he's seen some good basketball. 
Well, just being in Lawrence, Kansas enough would be enough to see some pretty good basketball. And that's hard to say for a guy who grows up in Missouri. Absolutely it is. 15 on the shot clock. Look at this, the fadeaway for Amari Bryant. The coaching staff up stomping and clapping for Dallas Baptist University. They've cut it back down to 11 here, but they need defensive stops. It's not enough just to score and trade punches with the Lions. Coleman, far side, around to Jolly. They reverse the ball. Jolly calls for help. Youngblood, long three. That one short. Wow. Look at the rebound by Devontae Thomas. He came out of nowhere. Looking like Spider-Man that time. Spider-Man shot out of a cannon. An all-tournament team player a year ago. The Lion drives. It won't go. Rebound by Carter Brown, but a nice move by Devontae Thomas. Nearing 400 points for his junior season. They're going to go down low to Jordan Pratt and get the foul here. The foul will be called against the Lions' Ladin hand in game two, live on the Heartland Conference Sports Network. Thanks for joining us on heartlandsports.org, the website for all the live streaming action here from the UMAC. This is Jordan Pratt knocking down the first of two free throws. He's got three points now. Shooting numbers kind of tell the tale in this one. University of Arkansas, Fort Smith shooting 36%. There's a free throw miss, loose ball. Coaches tell them to let it go, they do. It'll be the Lions ball. Points in the paint, close. 14 for the Lions, 12 for the Patriots. Bench points close at 13 and 10, but just a couple points here, Drew, a couple of shots there, and everything is in favor of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Once again, the, the arc shooting of University of Arkansas Fort Smith Six for 17, two for 16 for TPU. That Sur seems to be the biggest difference. Surprised we haven't seen more of that in this one. Brett Jolly, six foot nine from South Lake, Texas, gets a two to go. Big man knocked down a three earlier. It's a 12 point game. Outside Miranda, coffin corner three, you betcha. Julian Miranda for three yet again. Boy, DBU really needed that one too. Miranda, the first Patriot in double figure scoring with 12. He's got three threes and there'll be a foul on the floor here. It's the second time we've seen the senior and the freshman go head to head and Miranda picks up his third personal. Let me take a look at it right there. You've got to, you have to have more, more player control. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times officials will look at the control of the body as opposed to how your fouls are going to look. And that time, Julian Miranda lost control of his body. Alex Cooper drives around to one side, comes back to Devontae Thomas. Cooper backpedaling now. Coleman has it stripped down low, ball loose on the floor, five seconds, the shot no good. Rebound to Dallas Baptist and they're going the other way. This tournament would not be possible without a lot of hard work. For more on that, Jose Harbour is with the commissioner. Jose. Thanks guys, I'm here with Tony conference that the championship games were the exact same teams back to back years I mean that's got to be I mean obviously something new for you. Oh yes and you know not only that what was really great was uh, we first time since the conference started in 1999 where we had two teams score over 100 points in the women first time anyone scored more than 100 points so that that speaks for itself. And what are your thoughts on this game so far? It's pretty hard, uh, hard fought. I know the girls. Are. Yeah, this this could be a nail biter. It's a nail biter now, but it'll be a nub fighter when we get down a little bit closer. Two good teams. They play well. They're well coached. All right, Mr. Commissioner, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, Thanks. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Commissioner. A great event here in Tulsa. A great addition to the sports scene here in Oklahoma. It's a five-point game while Jose was. Talking to the commissioner, the Patriots fighting their way back. Pull up jumper, no good. Big rebound for little Julian Miranda. DBU could cut it to a one possession game here. Just under 13 minutes to go in the second half. Here's the three that won't go. Rebound fought for, who's got it? Patrick Burke 
Miranda, the three ball, no. And Darius Coleman comes down with it. Lions have their foot on the accelerator and they throw it away. They've got him sped up here, Drew. They've got him sped up. Throwing him out of their rhythm too. And you know, the, the, the sideline, the basketball flew out and hit Fort Smith radio analyst Jimmy Haas. He was, uh, he caught that however. He was known as the freak in Fort Smith and that was a freakish catch. So big shout out to him. Nice work, Jimmy. Still a five point game though. What does Coach Flickner have up his sleeve for this one? 12.20 to go, Miranda inside, back outside here. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Carter Brown to Amari Bryant with five. Bryant from three, all the way down the well. It's a two point game. This is where Dallas Baptist is so dangerous. We have seen it time and again. I saw it last year. This is a team of runs, and when they get established in momentum, you are hard pressed to stop them. Marcus Wallace slows it down here. Lions trying to get tempo back. Ball out of bounds to the Patriots. Give credit to Jordan Pratt. Fighting around, getting position. And the here, the chance to tie or take the lead. This was not a runaway by any stretch of the imagination last year, but it was a higher scoring game, 95 to 87, when these two teams went at it last year and they're not done. We're tied at 40. The answer from Seth Youngblood from the corner. Youngblood now with 13 points to lead his team. You just can't leave him open. You can't let him have an opportunity at all. Carter Brown dribbled on the out of bounds line and unforced error that will send the ball back to the Lions. Mike Flickner along with his assistant coaches, Ryan Glenny, Remy Jai, Shannon Lilly, all working hard on their end. Coleman picks up his dribble. Ball comes back to him. He drives on Pratt, has it swatted away. They pitch it out here. Seven on the shot clock. Youngblood with it. Up against Miranda with three. The super senior goes again. The sweet, sweet jumper. Seth Youngblood, the thousand point score, does it again. Absolutely nothing wrong with that defense from DBU either. They were swarming, they did everything right. Seth Youngblood's just on it. Just a better shot. Sometimes somebody makes a better play. Superstar moment for Seth Youngblood. Shot clock to five seconds again. Miranda with three, his shot blocked. And we're going back the Lions way now for an update on lot, the Lions. Here's the, oh, no, they're gonna call that on the floor here with 10.01 to go. Let's go to Jose Harbor. Yeah, coach, uh, guys, Coach Newman was not happy with this team, and neither were the players. They were kind of bickering at each other, mad that they had let DBU make a run and come back in this game. Coach was telling them, look, we're not locked in on defense. They're driving on us because we're just sitting there resting. we gotta, we got to square up better, guys. And on the offense, he doesn't want any lobs into the post. He does not like that wing pass to the post. So watch for that. Will do, Jose. Thank you. They get a second chance opportunity here. Offensive rebound, Seth Youngblood feeling it, but Pratt has the defensive board. Dallas Baptist University, major, major break right there. See about the defensive intensity here for the Lions. They've got another rebound. Rebounds favor UAFS 31 to 26. Here's Coleman again. Man, Ladarius Coleman came to play today. Coleman averages nine points a game. He's got 14 on championship Sunday. Bryant trying to find a seam. He gives it up to Pratt. His right-handed runner halfway down won't go. Rebound loose. Elder thought he had it flipped back in. It's on the floor. That's got to be a tie-up. Time out. Dallas Baptist getting shots. They just aren't falling. Right, and they're finding their shot better. They're selecting their shot better. They're just not able to score. 
See if they can get points here. Amari Bryant to the baseline and thinks better of it. All the way out to Von Vliet for three. The young man shot from the Netherlands hits the front iron and the Lions come away with it. Youngblood kills his dribble, sends it back around the horn. Alex Cooper knocked down a couple of big threes, three of them to be exact in the first half. Glapian gives it back to Cooper. Five on the shot clock. Inside out, three on the way. No, bounces off the heel of the rim into the hands of Patrick Burke. Burke with two points and eight rebounds today. Burke not scoring, but it doesn't mean he's not contributing with rebounds and defense. Good screen there by Burke. Von Vliet drives the lane and misses. Tries to steal it back, but the Lions have it. Oh, Youngblood Blake. stops and pops and leaves it short. Coach Blakeman was irate over on this corner for a couple of different reasons, but the biggest one was maybe if Mitchell's may have missed a Be the Lions. University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. The Lions have the lead in the ball. As we come back under eight minutes to play in the second half of this men's Heartland Conference Tournament Final. Corey Riggs, Drew Brent, Jose Harbor here on the call today. Glapian stops and pops, it rattles off. Rebound control by Jordan Pratt. Julian Miranda back into the ball game now to run point for the Pats. Burke calling for the ball down inside the lane. He steps out, he steps back in. Miranda in the corner, goes baseline, throws it out, Von Vliet for three, no. Another rebound controlled by Coleman. He's got 14 points and five boards. Youngblood drives through traffic and then brings it back out. Cooper now will settle everybody down here. With under seven to go. Cooper drives in, bounces off a of Patriot and scores. Alex Cooper with 11 points. Three Lions now in double-digit scoring. 33% for Jan Yarkosko. Cooper has had a very good day. His good shooting has given the Lions a nine-point lead, a foul underneath before Burke is able to shoot. Foul goes on number 11. That's the Lions. Clapian. Kevin McGill with the call that time, our official. Inbounds for Miranda here with six and a half to play. Amari Bryant has been a big contributor off the bench today with nine points. He has the lob into Burke. Ball tapped up out of bounds last night. Everything goes through Miranda, whether he's at the point are putting the ball back in play. Now it's Bryant off the dribble, slices through a couple of would-be defenders, but comes up empty-handed. Youngblood pushing the issue. Cooper for three, short. Rebound, Elder. And Elder had been quiet in the first half, my friend. Kyrie Elder is quiet no more. He came out of nowhere, a shot like out of a cannon, almost like you would say, to pick up that rebound and save the two points back. Rebounds favor the Lions by six, 36 to 30. Foul called against Brett Jolly now, his second, the team's fifth, stopping the clock with 548. Bryant one on one with Cooper. Now it's Pratt, the big man tries one and he gets it to go. Jordan Pratt only had eight points in the two previous contests. He's got seven this afternoon. Three ball for Youngblood. Holy cow! Seth Youngblood is money. 18 points. And a gut punch for the Lions leader against Dallas Baptist. What an incredible shot from downtown, but it's not uncustomary for Seth Youngblood to make shots like that. This young man has been an offensive leader. 18 points, seven of 13 from 
field goal range, and you have to think that this young man is putting the team on his back. The Lions soaring because of Seth Youngblood. And of course, Ladarius Coleman as well. Youngblood, four of 10 for 40% from di distance, Miranda will try one. Rebound controlled by Coleman and then a frustration foul. See Coach Flickner talking to his young point guard. A lot of great basketball in the future of the freshman of the year, Julian Miranda, but right now he is a spectator. Devontae Thomas to Coleman. Coleman's shot rolls around and flips out. 12 points, the deficit here for DBU. Back outside now. Carter and Brown. This is Bryant here. The shot won't go. Rebound fought for. It'll stay with the Patriots. Pratt doing battle with Coleman. And the guys in the white uniforms get the benefit. Miles Johnson has had a quiet championship Sunday. He has two points. He had 16 points against Lubbock Christian. He averages 13. Dallas Baptist University could use some of his three-pointers right about now. 12 on the shot clock. In jail, the pass to Pratt. His shot will go Jolly. Another rebound. Big Brett Jolly with his second board of the day. Marcus Wallace directs the offense now, and he gives it up to Seth Youngblood, a young man who rises and fires from three again. And Drew, my friend, when you are feeling the mojo, you just have to let it go, and that's what Youngblood's doing. He is on fire. Johnson, the answer won't go, and now Seth Youngblood's even getting the rebounds. 21 points, six boards, four assists. Seth Youngblood put in a bid for that MVP trophy. The lead now, the largest of the day at 15. There's a foul away from the ball. Carter Brown will be called with his third personal. The team's rebounds, four assists against only three turnovers. He is trying to lead his team to a Heartland Conference crown and a berth in the NCAA Division II Tournament. Devontae Thomas on the drive is fouled. Jose Harbor working the Dallas Baptist sideline. Jose, what do you have? Yeah, Coach Flickner, I've seen him sometimes this weekend just be extremely animated, but right now with three minutes left to go in the game, he's very calm telling his team, look, we've been in this situation last year. We're fine, guys. See Coach Newman now. No reason for Coach Newman to uh, have the butterflies right now. His team's got the lead. They continue to expand on it. 59-42, Devontae Thomas makes them both. Now look at this with a big lead. The Lions, a little full court pressure. Wide open though, a defensive breakdown and Carter Brown gets an easy two. You apply that full court press, it's really difficult sometimes to manage the entire floor and sometimes you'll open people up and that's exactly what happened there. They tried to pressure in the back court and left the front court wide open. Jolly hands it off to Marcus Wallace. He drives, the Lions will pull it back here. Good use of the clock, a three, pinballs out, no. Rebound to Amari Bryant. The DBU sideline saying attack, attack. How about a three? That one goes off the back. Controlled by the Lions, Devontae Thomas. Spider will get fouled. Foul against number 12 for the Patriots. That's JT Harris's first foul, the team's eighth. So this will be a one and one here for Devontae Thomas. Thomas with six points today, all of them coming at the free throw line. Brett Jolly checks out, a nice round of applause from the Fort Smith faithful. Thomas, his first miss of the day. 59-44, the Patriots need points. They need them in a hurry. Bryant goes to the window, no rebound, Kyrie Elder. 
Elder climbs the ladder to get another one. Ball now in the hands of Youngblood. They break it across the timeline. Elder drives, dumps it off. Great interior passing, and the ball is lost out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lions. 59-44, our score just one second under the two-minute mark now. Well, if you're DBU, you're going to try to open this up a little bit, start fouling as much as you can to stop the clock and then score in transition. But you also have to hope that Arkansas Fort Smith will not shoot well from the free throw line. And that's a problem because they're six for six. 88.9% at the free throw line today. This is Ladarius Coleman. Coleman's three for three at the line. The foul by JT Harris, the man from Merkel, Texas, his second. He has made the last two fouls trying to send the Lions to the line. Coleman, the second leading scorer on the day here with 16 points, a six of 10 shooting day, four of four from the line. Miles Johnson attacks the rim. DBU is going to get a technical foul. Dallas Baptist sideline had been chirping about wanting a foul call the last couple of times. They're going to get teed up here. University of Arkansas Fort Smith will have the luxury of sending Seth Youngblood to the line, a 92% free throw shooter who misses the first one in his career or in this season. Seth Youngblood is 100 of 110, now 101 of 111, the 101st make at the free throw line for Youngblood. Well, you, you kind of saw this one coming, Joe. There's a lot of there's a lot of chirping on this sideline, as you mentioned, partner, and you know some aggression, some frustration. A lot of times that'll create a, a spark. Maybe this deep, maybe this type of foul something that DB you can use. Minute 47 is all that they have left here. Great, great mid-major baseball conference. Youngblood takes the inbounds pass. Nobody going to immediately foul. They get it now to Cooper, and they break the timeline. 100 seconds, and there is the exclamation point. Devontae Thomas in his hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma, puts the capper. Nail in the coffin. Scoop shot goes here for Amari Bryant. And no more poetic justice than the young man from Hale High School in Tulsa. To have that sort of highlight here, there's a five count on the inbounds. They had already burned a timeout trying to get the last one in, and they couldn't. The defense for DBU stiffens up as you see that slam and gets a turnover. Right, and every, every opportunity that DBU has to score, they, they've got to take it. So they'll use this mistake as an opportunity to try to put some extra points on the board. It's a long game, and it's a long shot, but it's not over just yet. Watch Miles Johnson and Julia Miranda. What they need is threes right now. I tell you what, though, a free throw here and there isn't bad either. Seth Youngblood extremely frustrated with himself right now. Knew that was a dumb foul. No need to foul here. You've got the hammer. You've got the big lead. Miles Johnson at the line, a 3.94 grade point average in finance. He has had a great tournament, 16 points. And that win over Lubbock Christian, the team's best three-point shooter, and not a bad free throw shooter either, over 85% on the season. He was 59 of 69 coming into today. He goes one of two here, rebound to Cooper, and there's the quick foul with a minute 11. So we will walk to the other end. Johnson commits his first personal, the team's 10th. University of Arkansas, Fort Smith with 17 fouls. So double bonus for the Lions, one and one for Fort Smith. Cooper unable to knock down the first. 11 points on the day for Cooper. That was his first shot from the charity stripe. Nine of his 11 points coming from long range. He goes one for two this trip. 
65-47. Bryant driving and a foul called here. It's Alex Cooper. Cooper his third. This will get Xavier Ledette back into the ball game. You know, if I'm UAFS, I think I back off just a little bit. I think I wouldn't have those easy twos and easy threes and then try to chew up some clock, make them foul me. That's exactly what I would do. I wouldn't try to press back here. You've got the big lead with only a minute five left. I'm on the same page with you. There's a free throw way too strong that time by an 86% free throw shooter. All the way across to Wallace, 60 seconds to go. Youngblood, oh, Youngblood went up and they had it taken away from him. Youngblood's highlight stolen, and there's a swat, a block by Devontae Thomas. Devontae Thomas, a man on a mission in these final two minutes. A super. Driving down uh, the Tulsa freeway a little faster than normal tonight. Well, let's just hope the highway patrol isn't watching. 46.5 seconds. Miranda, a Hail Mary three answered. 65 to 50, a 15 point game. Thomas throws it all the way back to Youngblood. They've got across midcourt. Carter Brown all over him, and there's a foul. The foul coming with 35.2 seconds. Brown and Miles Johnson both there. The personal foul. Johnson's third now. And it puts Youngblood back at the line. Seth. All of a sudden has gone cold. The game's leading scorer with 22 points, six rebounds and four assists, is now one for three at the free throw line. One for four at the free throw line. Maybe the only part of his game that hasn't been perfect. Here's another three for the Patriots, no. A rebound, a second look, and Amari Bryant sends it up and through. And look at this, Drew. Two three points here on the inbounds play. Marcus Wallace will deliver the inbounds pass. Quickly into Devontae Thomas. He beats everybody back. Xavier Ledette commits the foul, 22.9 to play. Two new Patriots set to come into the ball game now. They'll have to wait for the free throws. JT Harris and Miles Johnson wait to come back in. Devontae Thomas at the line. Thomas, eight points, and he misses. And boy, there's not much light coming through the crack in that door, but University of Arkansas, Fort Smith, unable to just kick it shut in the final 30 seconds. He would really like to put a nail in it, just finish this one up, and that one will help, but making both of them would have pretty well done. 13 points, the difference, 20 seconds to play. Miranda for three, short iron on the front. He'll get another look, lets it go with the right hand. Julian Miranda hits his fifth three of the day. The foul will come with 11.1 seconds now. Miles Johnson commits his fourth. Wow. I look forward to watching the career of Julian Miranda develop at Dallas Baptist University. 20 points, 5 of 11 from three-point land today. The young man collected the freshman of the year honors. I didn't know on Thursday. I know why today. Thomas making them when they count here in winning time. Putting this one away. The lead, 11. The lead, 12. 68-56 now. One more three, wow. and boy, they will not go into that good night, will the Patriots. Bryant from downtown again, but Seth Youngblood can dribble it out. The University of Arkansas Fort Smith Lions have never won the tournament.